Hi there, I'm Gabrielle, retired medium from Germany, and I like to share some of my otherworldly experiences. This time it's about um, a shamanic journey which I experienced and uh, the reversal uh, of a curse. So, in the beginning of my, um, let's say, spiritual journey uh, started more or less when I really consciously started my mediumship trainment. I was interested uh, in a lot of things that I did not uh, thought about before. So at one point um, I was with a shamanic friend and she offered a shamanic journey to me. I didn't know what that was, but I was curious. So I said, okay, let's try it. <laughs> I'm interested. And she put me down to lay down. And then she started with a shamanic drum, which is this rhythm of your heartbeat and brings you into some kind of meditative uh, alpha brainwave state like a meditation or trance very easily. So I closed my eyes, I was relaxed and I was breathing and entering very rapidly into the alpha brainwave state. And then she ordered me to imagine um, like the psychologist used uh, similar methods in catatimic uh, imagery she ordered me to imagine a meadow and then she wanted me to describe the meadow how the weather is were there flowers could i feel wind was the sun shining so you really lock in with all your senses into uh, the imagined image and then it wasn't just like a flat thing on a screen i could watch but I stepped inside the, the picture, the, the image, and I was walking on the meadow and I was feeling the wind and I was feeling the warmth of the sun. And I could hear birds chirping and I saw the flowers and they had a wonderful smell. And so I was walking on this meadow and then she ordered me to go in direction of a small little hill that was there and I looked and I saw the hill and I went there and upon the hill she said something that might sound a little bit um, strange. She said, and that, there on top of the hill there is an elevator. And immediately I saw this elevator. It had glass all around and was in uh, some metal construction to, to give it uh, some strength and hold. And she said, now enter the elevator and press the button. And I entered the elevator and I was um, with my mind wondering, whoa, there's only one button. So there's no one else, like nothing else where I can go, like uh, first floor or second floor, something like that. And there was this one button and I pressed the button and the elevator went down into the earth. And <clears throat> for a while I was in that elevator and then it suddenly stopped and the doors opened and I stepped out and I saw a scenery which she wanted me to describe to her. I saw um, a meadow with a fire in the middle and people gathering around the fire. And behind the people I saw something like um, trekking wagons. It looked all very gypsy to me. And the people also, they had a slight skin uh, color. They, they were a little bit brown in the skin and they looked like gypsies to me. And they were uh, around the fire, talking, drinking. One had a guitar playing, some were dancing, others were talking. And more or less at the head of this um, community there was sitting a very, very um, dominant um, clan mother type figure. 
And I looked at her and she looked at me and I felt there is something. I had no intention when I started the journey. I can tell you now from my mediumship, it's always good to have an intention, something you seek for, a solution of uh, a mind problem or uh, whatever. And if you don't have an intention, you might end up anywhere, but you can also trust that your soul will lead you where you need to go and need to find something, a picture or a memory of another lifetime that will give you a hint what it's all about, what you need to know at the moment. So I described to my shamanic friend what I saw, the gypsy scene with uh, the clan mother. And she said, well, if you feel some kind of um, connection, then go towards her and place yourself in front of her. I wouldn't have done that on my own. I didn't know what to do. So I was uh, grateful and happy that she ordered me to interact and to go where I felt there is something. That's how it works if you travel astrally or um, use remote viewing or something like that. You just extend your consciousness and um, in the beginning, in the otherworldly experiences, I was just always <laughs> sitting there in awe with open mouth and just looking. And it took me some while to step inside of the images and interact with where I felt there is something. I felt something like a bond. So I placed my fr myself in front of that uh, mother clan figure and it wasn't um, that pleasant what I felt. There was um, something difficult. And instantly I knew I got the whole information when I placed myself in front of her, what it's all about. I knew that I was a young gypsy woman with a long uh, uh, dress and I liked to dance and the, the dress was swirling around like when the Sufis dance. And um, I was beautiful, I had long dark hair and the son of the clan mother was in love with me. And she didn't like me because she was jealous that her son wanted me. But I was in love with another one. So I had no interest in the son and I had no interest in the jealousy of the mother. And when I described this to my shamanic friend, she said, well, then go and ask her to take back whatever she put onto you with the jealousy. And the funny thing is, I now know I'm a star seed. My first memory at three years was uh, looking at my family. What am I doing here with these people? And um, I always ask myself, why am I here? I feel wrongly incarnated. This is not my story. I'm in the wrong movie. I want to get out of here. I much more wanted to excarnate than to incarnate and really be here and take on whatever is there to take on. So, I said as a 12 year old, which is quite common for star seeds because the soul just wants to come in, fulfill the mission and then go out again. If you mingle, if you have children, if you marry, you interact and very often you um, create bonds or even bondage. So, I said as a 12 year old, I never want to marry and I don't want to have kids. So where can this come from in a 12 year old girl looking at the world? Everybody's married. Everybody has children. That's the normal way. So already that made me feel weird and strange. But I said that and in the moment in the shamanic journey, it made perfectly sense 
Why I said that? Because she cursed me because out of her jealousy to never have children. So that matched with my sole intent to not interact too much and get stuck here by karma or whatever. I know some people say uh, karma, karma is the wrong idea, but it's just the law of cause and effect. And you can think about it what you want. If you have something in your hand and you let it drop, it will fall to the ground. That's cause and effect. And all our actions and thoughts and emotions also have, as a course, they have an effect. So I, as my ego mind, could never have uh, made this up, the whole story, but it made sense. So I said to this woman, explaining, I'm not in love with your son. It's not my fault that he's in love with me and wants me. I do love someone else and I want that man and not your son. So please take back your curse. And she agreed without any uh, aggressive uh, manners. She understood what I just told her and she said, oh, okay. I'm sorry. And then she took it back, literally like with a gesture and movement of her hand. And I felt a big relief as if something had fallen off from my shoulders. And I could have never imagined that, but it was very good feeling. I felt free and more light. And then I thanked her and I turned around and went back to the elevator and came back up to the hill in the meadow and back into my body uh, where I was laying down uh, during that um, shamanic journey. So this is just an example to share what might be behind some of our issues. And a shamanic journey is a very simple thing. You can even do it on yourself. If you set an attempt uh, to find out whatever you need to find out right now, uh, you can place yourself in a good uh, position, like lying down on your couch or your uh, carpet, wherever, or your bed, and put on some shamanic drumming, uh, you can find that on the internet very easily. And then relax, breathe deeply and use the picture of the meadow. And there's the elevator with only one button. You don't have to know anything about it. You press the button and then look where you will land, where the elevator will stop and you can get out and just watch what is shown to you in a describing manner like they use in um, remote viewing. They don't like nouns because you say it's metal, then it's a very firm statement from 3D dimensional perception. They describe things more like it seems to be metal or it looks metallic when they talk about UFO. And there are many different kinds of UFOs. There are more or less the plasma ones, the light uh, UFO, and they can show up in lower dimensions as kind of metallic looking, but they are, they are not really metallic. So you can use the shamanic journey for yourself and find out where you land and interact always for the good, for the highest best. So that after I got the information, what's wrong with the situation, that she interpreted wrongly, that I'm taking away her son from her because he was in love with me. And I wasn't even interested in that son. <laughs> I had my, my own desires. I was in love with another one. So that made all sense. And when I understood it and could talk to her, hey, look, that's just a misunderstanding. Please take back whatever you put onto me because I felt the connection was affected with some kind of negative energy, low vibration, the jealousy of a mother, or maybe it was she wants to care too much, 
like a helicopter mother for her son. So that was the conflict and I didn't know of that. I thought later uh, it's only my starseed origin that does not uh, want me to to have children in this life. I mean, I don't miss them. If I close my eyes, I know I have memories of other lives where I had children and I was a mother. So I know how it feels, although I don't have children in this life. Um, okay, so that was that, some, the shamanic journey and removal of a curse. And I hope you find something enlightening or helpful in this. Beautiful souls, thank you for watching. Namaste.